Welcome to September's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is maximum XOR of two numbers in an array. Given a non-empty array of numbers where a i is going to be between 0 and 2 to the 31 power, find the maximum result of an a i XOR a j. Uh, can you do this in O n of runtime? This is a hard problem and it's going to take me a while to explain it. I did not come up with a solution, but I'll do my best to explain what I was able to research. So if we were to do this in the naive approach, we can do it in n square time pretty easily. We can just say for x in nums, and then for y in nums, what is the max xor? We can say, all right, what's the max like between the max and x? XOR of Y, something like this, right? And then we just return our, our our max here, and that would solve the problem. But unfortunately, this is going to reach a time limit exception because it's N squared. We want to do this in O of N runtime. So how could we do that? Well, there's really not very intuitive ways to do this with like using a hash because no matter what with this XOR, we have to check every single other number to see what the maximum XOR could possibly be. Uh, so to do this, why not instead of thinking about, all right, what's the maximum XOR? What's the maximum possible numbers for our bitwise operate, like in, in terms of bitwise? So we know like numbers are in bits. We know the maximum number is going to be like one, two, 32 ones, right? Like all these ones here. So we need to try to go through every single position and check to see, try to build up our maximum amount. Like, can we find two numbers that build up this one? So if we start with like one zero 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 all the way thirty two, say, hey, between these numbers, can we find this number? And if we can, we put it into some temp variable, and then we continue on. Okay, what about this number? Could we find this number between two? And continue on forward. And this allows us to use a hash instead, right? Rather than checking every single possibility, we're checking, hey, can we create this number? Can we create this maximum number? Because intuitively, we know the maximum number is gonna be as many ones to the left as possible. All right, so to do this, first let's initialize two variables. We'll say mask and we'll say output. And these will start with zero. And output's gonna be what we return, what we build up, and mask is gonna be uh, well, this is going to be how we check to see um, what possible numbers we could use to create our output. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So for i in range of 32 bits, we're going to go in reverse and build up our mask and output and check to see between all of our numbers, can we find this? All right, so first let's create our mask. We're going to do a... Um, or operation and get the i I'm sorry get a 1 and move that 32 position so now this number here is going to be like 1 to all the way 0 and we're going to or it here this is the or operator uh, that's going to basically add these ones together um, not add the numbers but add the ones position by position right all right so now we have our mask and what we're going to do is create a set of all the numbers that we find Basically, we're going to do an AND operator and find what, mm, like, if we had 1100, zero, zero, get all the numbers that, like, from all these numbers inside here, find the numbers, huh, not, find the numbers in here that basically, um, what results in, could we match these positions? And if not, it's going to return instead like the zero, 00, right? Uh, so let's try that. We'll say for n in nums. What we'll do is get our mask and do an and operator with this mask and get all these numbers. And we can create this into a set. And this is going to be our hash, essentially. All right, now we want to build up our output, right? So our output is currently going to be the or operator. It'll be the same thing. Whoops same thing as our mask but we don't actually know if we can create this number yet right so we'll actually store that in a temp variable here and now what we're going to do is go through all the numbers that we've 
found in our um, hash here and we'll say, all right, for f in found, can we do an XOR operator if f XOR operator of this temp variable, is it inside of our, of our set? And if so, then we'll update our output. We'll say, okay, I'll, I'll put you, we can create this like one, one, zero, 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 whatever. And if we check next, we say, all right, can we make this? And we find it, we're like, yes, we can. So if you look carefully, this actually is two sum, right? This is the two sum algorithm. And you might think, well, this isn't O of n time. This is like O of 32 n, but that technically is O of n. 32 is like minuscule compared to the millions of exponential values that we can get. And now we're just gonna build up our output and finally return whatever maximum output we were able to create. So let me make sure this works. This should be 28. Oh, I got zero. Uh, let's see if, oh, okay, that's, no, 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 that's, that's right. N mask, 132. Okay, that's, I don't know why I did that. This is supposed to be I, obviously. So let's see. There we go. So this is 28. Let's submit that. And accepted. So this is O of n time. It's actually technically O of 32n, but that's it. So I did not come up with a solution. All right, like I looked it up, and even now I still have trouble understanding it. I really hate bidwise problems. Like I don't think this is very useful in the real world. But hey, man, like I have to admit this solution is very clever. So gonna end it here. Uh, I hope that explained it decently well. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.